So in this video we're going to look at logical applications so in particular we're going to look at multiplexers and mid trigger not gates and sig with signal conditioning so our multiplexer then to start with so we can use our multiplexer to create a boolean expression for us um, and multiplexer if you remember before is just an electronic switch so if we look at this example here when we've got all the zeros on ABC then our electronic switch is connected to D0 okay and D0 is connected to 0 volts so we can put a 0 in there and then when we put a 1 on A for the next step onwards we increment the clock clock input here so we've got a 1 and D1 is connected to 5 volts so a logic a logic high so all you have to do is to, to go through and map across now sometimes it's easier to actually just to scribble down the side if you wanted to you know d0 d1 d2 d d5 d7 just so you can then easier to map across what is connected to so going in reverse the logic high d4 is connected to one Oh look, we've changed the colour pen. Yeah, and that's it. So therefore, we've using a multiplexer and electronic switch, we can create a, a, a an logical expression because then from that, from this true table here, we could create a boolean expression which would meet our needs. So, so vice versa, we could go and read. Okay, happy days. Shall we do it the opposite way around? So we've got this expression here. So from that expression here, we can then we then complete the true table. So whenever not a is high, we're going to get a one. So we get a one, one, one. So there's all our not a's, giving us one. And then when we've got not b, not b, and c, we're going to get a one. So we've got a one there. There's our truth table complete. So all we have to do now is connect up our logic highs and our logic lows to D0 to, to, D1, uh, to D7. Okay, and there we have it. Now, those are already drawn in for us, but you need to make sure you put the ABC connected to the select, select inputs here, otherwise it's meaningless. Um, because otherwise we don't know whether the multiplexer is going upwards or operating downwards. So I, I've always assumed, because it's more logical, that it's operating upwards. So S0 select input 0 is connected to A. Make sure we put So we're going to have a look at a Schmidt trigger not gate. So there's a symbol for it with our hysteresis loop in the middle. Okay, so it's a special type of logic gate. So instead of um, the trip points between logic high and logic low being halfway input by voltage, there um, we're given uh, an upper trip point and a lower trip point. So let's, let's give some information for this one. So logic high 9 volts, logic low 0 volts, and then we've got our true trip points 6 volts and 3 volts. So if we draw a characteristic graph, what does it look like? So it behaves very much like a not gate to start with. So our input, if our input is uh, 0 volts, then our output is going to be uh, 9 volts. Okay, and it's going to stay like that until we, if we keep increasing the input voltage. And we increase the input voltage to the upper trip point, uh, which we say is at six volts, and then the output then then falls uh, to a logic low. Okay, so we'll put it down there. But then what we have to do is we, if we then decrease the input voltage, and uh, if we decrease the input voltage to the lower trip point, then the output then goes back to a logic high. So we see that we have these two points at which it changes from a logic high to a low and low to a high. But the important thing is to start off thinking that there's a normal not gate, logic low in, logic high out. Work from there and produce your hysteresis loop, which if you look is a reverse mirror image of what we have on the symbol.
So here we have uh, an input signal. Uh, it's got a little bit corrupted, so we want to want to convert that back back to a digital signal. Um, starting off as a, the a logic low here, so our output is a logic high. So we've got my best I can to draw for draw um, our output there is nine volts. Okay. Now before we get any, any further, it's, it's worth drawing um, two lines on our graph. Uh, one to, to show the lower trip point and one to show the upper trip point. The colour for that. Okay, so I've draw, drawn my um, upper, upper trip point line and I've got drawn my uh, lower trip point line on the graph there. And I've also put an arrow up and down, which means that when, when I'm looking at the signal, a signal of the input must go up past this line and for then the output to change. So we get to this point here and then my output will then change as the history it shows to a logic low. Okay, so then if we follow our waveform, yes it crosses this line here but the waveform has got to go up past it so it's going to stay a logic low. It's not until that we get to this point here that our input signal has gone low, it's gone down past that point, that then our output will change. Then we get an output there, and then the same happens just here. The signal goes up past that point. Then we get a signal that looks like that. And hopefully, if you've done it right, you should, because this is a NOT gate, you should get uh, some a digital version, but an inverted digital version of your of your uh, input signal, because that's what we're after doing. We're after the cleaning signal conditioning your input signal, but because it's a NOT gate, it will be inverted. And there you have it.